Hey everybody, Rasmus.com here. We're in Jefferson, Maryland today at a Cider Works distillery where there's a huge apple orchard and all the distilling things you need to make your own cider or wine at home. So follow us around. We'll take you around the production room first. We've got our sorting table where we dump the apples, we sort them out, pick up the ones we want. This is a brush and pressure washer for the apples. Then they come through here with more brushes, up the elevator, get ground in here into sort of an applesauce. The applesauce comes through a tube, gets placed on one of these trays. The trays get blanketed and covered and stacked. Then you slide them in here. The hydraulic press comes up, mashes the applesauce into liquid, into here. Then once you have the liquid, you can run it through your Cider Sure Mini, which is also for sale, where we use a UV treatment to basically pasteurize the cider for you. And you can get a cool slushy machine. Over here, we've got some triple well deep sinks, flexible motor for the fermentation tanks. We've got six assorted size fermentation tanks over here, all the way from 575, 285, a couple 360s, and this is another 540 right here. Display refrigerator for your merchandise and cider. Quaint little gift shop with some pretty cool growlers. I mean, we've heard of these places before, right? And then more display stands. A couple old timey antique gift ideas. Some pretty cool decor, farmhouse decor. Really cool patio furniture. Out here we've got some bright tanks and a tilting kettle, warehouse ladder, specialty orange trees that we're selling. Oh man, this looks like a truck I used to have. This is a 92 GMC, extended bed of eight foot, single cab, very nice, very clean looking V8, I believe, about 178,000 miles on it. Down here we've got way more patio furniture, beautiful barn packed to the gills with more distilling equipment, some scaffolding, lawn equipment, and let me show you this really cool live edge wooden planks. They've already been through the planer, but put them through one more time, get a nice finish on there. And then you can either use them for epoxy furniture or stain them however you like. So. That's all today, folks. If you want to check us out, it's rasmus.com for all your bidding needs for the stuff you need at the price you set.